One afternoon in July, Jack brought his girlfriend Alice home. Suddenly, a snow leopard sprang from the side to stop them, which terrified Alice directly. Alice hid behind Jack in horror. Jack didn't panic at all, but took Alice's hand and slowly approached the snow leopard. At this time, a surprising thing happened. The snow leopard suddenly fell on the ground, like a big cat and Jack took his girlfriend Alice to pet the snow leopard. The snow leopard did not resist, as if it had met its owner. Jack's family lived in the plains, where people lived by herding, and so did Jack. The animals in his house were Jack's playmates when he was a child, and they were also Jack's favorite animals. In the spring, Jack went out to herd. On the way back, Jack heard a strange cry, the cry attracted him deeply, so he walked in the direction of the sound. He saw a newborn snow leopard cub behind a rock. Jack was curious to see the snow leopard cub, but having lived here all year, he knew he had to leave immediately. This snow leopard cub was not big, so the mother snow leopard would definitely not go far. Suppressing curiosity, Jack didn't stay any longer, but left with the flock. When Jack walked to a gravel slope, the sheep suddenly became commotion. Jack hurried to check and saw a female snow leopard lying beside him. The female snow leopard had many wounds and had stopped breathing. It looked like it died in a fight and died for a day or so. That's when Jack thought of the snow leopard cub waiting to be fed. It was not far from the snow leopard cub, so this female snow leopard might be its mother. Jack thought about it for a long time, and finally drove the sheep home. When he got home, Jack drove the sheep into the sheepfold, then he took some jerky and went out again. You might have guessed that Jack still couldn't let go of that snow leopard cub. Seeing this snow leopard cub waiting to be fed, Jack hurriedly took out the jerky and wanted to feed it, but this snow leopard cub was too young to eat those. Jack stroked the snow leopard cub's fur to comfort it, and gradually the snow leopard cub became quiet in Jack's arms. Looking at the quiet snow leopard cub, a smile appeared on Jack's face. He carried the snow leopard cub and walked towards the home. After returning home, Jack took out the milk powder at home, mixed it with warm water, and poured it into a bowl. He picked up the snow leopard cub and slowly fed it. Seeing the snow leopard cub sticking out its pink tongue and licking the milk in the bowl, Jack finally felt relieved. It didn't take long for his family to learn of the snow leopard cub's existence. Jack made a pact with his family to release the snow leopard cub once it was able to live on its own. Autumn soon came, and Jack took good care of the snow leopard cub in those days. In addition to herding, he devoted himself to taking care of the snow leopard cub, and gradually the snow leopard cub grew to Jack's calf height. Over time, this snow leopard cub became an adult. The adult snow leopard cub followed Jack's side, and Jack made the decision to release it. One day Jack took this grown-up snow leopard out for grazing, and he looked a little serious. As he was about to go home, he took the snow leopard cub to a hillside where Jack met the snow leopard. Jack wanted to part there, so he returned there with the snow leopard. After arriving, the snow leopard suddenly paused, as if sensing something. Jack crouched down and stroked the snow leopard's head, and then he hugged the snow leopard, which made the snow leopard a little bit wrong, but it didn't panic. Jack said something in the snow leopard's ear, and then sent the snow leopard away. It looked reluctant. After sending the snow leopard away, Jack told the snow leopard to go back, and come to see him if it has time. Then Jack waved his hand and turned, and walked towards home. At that time, the snow leopard seemed to understand Jack's intention, so it silently watched Jack leave. It didn't leave until Jack's figure disappeared from its sight. That time Jack didn't take the snow leopard with him back, which surprised everyone nearby. 
After all, he was the first person to herd with snow leopards, and such a scene would be hard to see in the future. Someone came up to ask Jack, but Jack just said that the snow leopard was released. He looked very relaxed, but in fact he was very reluctant. The next day Jack went to herd as usual, but an unexpected thing happened. After Jack drove the sheep to the pasture, he sat aside and watched the sheep grazing leisurely. At that time a wolf appeared on the distant hillside, and let out a wolf howl on the hillside. Hearing the wolf howl, the sheep rioted and began to flee. Seeing this, Jack hurriedly went to drive the sheep, trying to gather the sheep together, and hurriedly drove the sheep away before the wolves arrived. However, the flock was so frightened that they ran away on the pasture. Jack had just brought together a flock of sheep, and when he went to drive another flock, the first flock dispersed again, which annoyed Jack, but he couldn't solve the problem for a while. Just as Jack was at a loss, a snow leopard came out and ran after the sheep. Jack suddenly felt bad, thinking that the snow leopard was going to eat his sheep. However, the snow leopard did not harm the sheep, but drove the sheep together. This surprised Jack. Gradually the flock had been driven together. Jack didn't have time to think about it, so he hurriedly drove the sheep back in the direction of home. However, at that time several wolves had gathered together, and they were coming towards the sheep. At that time, the snow leopard suddenly burst out and made a cry, which directly startled the wolves. Then the wolves slowly backed away, and gave up hunting the sheep. After watching the wolves leave, Jack finally felt relieved. The snow leopard suddenly swaggered towards him. It held its head high, as if seeking a reward from Jack. After seeing this scene, Jack realized that the snow leopard was actually the little snow leopard he let go. The little snow leopard didn't forget him, and helped him herd sheep. This made Jack very moved. Jack approached the little snow leopard, and hugged it with a smile on his face. But Jack didn't take the snow leopard back because he knew the animals needed to grow up in nature. After this incident, Jack felt relieved about raising snow leopards before. After that, Jack occasionally encountered the snow leopard, when he went to herd again. Two years later, Jack had reached the age of marriage, so his family started helping him on blind dates, and taking him to meet. During that time he met Alice, and they fell in love at first sight. Their families loved each other, and their wedding day was quickly set. One day Jack suddenly proposed to Alice, to take her to meet a mysterious friend. Alice wanted to know, who it was, but Jack kept saying she'd know when she saw it. No way, Alice had to promise Jack to meet his special friend. Jack walked with Alice on a hillside. When passing a gravel-covered hillside, a snow leopard suddenly rushed in front of them, which scared Alice. But Jack laughed. Alice sat behind Jack and looked at Jack, who was smiling, only to think he was dumbfounded. Jack grabbed Alice's hand and patiently said that this was his friend. Hearing this, Alice looked at Jack and then at the snow leopard. She said hurry up or they will be bitten by it. Apparently Alice didn't care about Jack's words. After all, how can anyone be friends with animals, let alone beasts? Jack didn't leave, but grabbed Alice's hand and walked towards the snow leopard, which made Alice even more terrified, but she didn't resist much. She believed in Jack a lot, but it was a little weird. Then they approached the snow leopard, and the snow leopard fell on the ground. Jack reached out and stroked the snow leopard's head, which made Alice stunned. Jack smiled and said to the snow leopard that this was his wife, and it needed to remember her. The snow leopard nodded, as if it understood. Jack asked Alice to reach out and touch the snow leopard, but Alice did not dare. Then they left. The next day, Alice asked about Jack. Jack told Alice exactly what happened. Alice was very surprised after hearing this, but she was no longer afraid of the snow leopard. After they got married, they often went to see the snow leopard. 
This snow leopard also often visited them. Jack saved the snow leopard with his kindness, and the snow leopard also guarded Jack with its loyalty. Jack regarded it as a friend and treated with sincerity, and this snow leopard regarded him as a master and was very obedient. It is hoped that we can all be kind and loving to wild animals and keep a safe distance from them. This is today's story. Click to subscribe for more interesting stories.